Okay, in this video, I'm going to be talking about state symbols. State symbols. And the purpose of state symbols is to um, is to basically display the state of a particular um, species in an equation. So let's say looking at these three states here we have h2o here which is um you can imagine imagine this is ice ice is a solid it's a solid and when we're using state symbols we take the first letter here and represent the solid as being s so we let's say this is h2o we would represent it with this s now let's say let's take water here which is a, a liquid liquid Oop. You probably maybe come across this at uh, GCSE, but yeah, it's basically the same sort of same concept, and we'd represent this with a L H two O. So that, that would be a small L there, and this is H two O as a gas. You can imagine this is a steam, so this would be a gas, and we represent this with, with a G. So we just take the first letter represent it with a G so this H2O here would be represented by G with steam and often there's some common solids you might encounter which are not water maybe carbonates like let's say CaCO3 calcium carbonate maybe um, metals like let's say sodium and and liquids the main liquid usually which you usually come across is is, is h2o uh, yeah maybe ethanol something like ethanol c2h5oh which could be a liquid and for gases usually maybe maybe h2o a steam H2 hydrogen should be a gas nitrogen should be a gas now there's another state aqueous and aqueous basically means it's in water and aqueous is usually used to refer to things which are dissolved in water so if you look at this I've got a sort of a picture of ions inside inside the water which are dissolved in water and the two ions I've got here is sodium ions and chloride ions. And so since they are aqueous and we spell aqueous, aqueous, aqueous. In this case, we take the first two letters and we put them in brackets and we represent it as aqueous, aqueous, aq. So these two ions, if we're representing these, we represent, represent them with a, q and a q and so that is the other state and we can use this to represent things like uh acids maybe that are dissolved dissolved in water at a particular concentration so maybe hcl would represent this with aqueous maybe sodium hydroxide naoh which is an alkaline substance we represent now with aqueous a, a, with aq meaning aqueous and so those are the four state symbols which are most commonly used um, in chemistry solid liquid gas and aqueous so there you go